Green Lantern from Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So this is from like a release poster. Right, landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause, we go too fast. Center point of my page about here. We're gonna come up and we start with his frown. So his head, it's a bit small, right? I got in a bit of his body. So his head is like up in here. And we're gonna start with his frowning sort of eyebrows, basically. We will curve. We'll take a line and we're gonna curve across his eyebrow. One this way. Heavy frown line, right? Back there, back up. Down into there. And his eyebrows are black, so we can color this in, right? Heavy sort of frowning line. Do the same on the other side just to keep things sort of balanced. We we'll try our best anyway. Up and down. <clears throat> Let me add this dark shape. Like so. And again, like heavy sort of frown brow areas and all this kind of stuff and he does have a, like veins and stuff across the top of his forehead but we'll just do it like that for the time being maybe we could do like another sort of wrinkle across here right but that's basically so then underneath the eyebrow here right we got like his top of his eye across and down right so this will come back across in towards the tear duct and then back up a little bit into there so small sort of you know comic book style eyes not sort of anime big ones and then his iris and pupil is sort of a half circle looking up from underneath his eyelid top eyelid there and the pupil is glowing purple so you could do it black like if you wanted but it's this glowing white circle really well glowing pink and purple around so i'll try and be as accurate as i can so i'll leave it sort of like that and then we got like eyelid lines around so like lots of wrinkle wrinkles uh, wrinkle, wrinkles and veins. Why is that so hard to say? So coming around here, I'll do the veins all at once, but we'll just get the wrinkles around his eye because he looks kind of tired. Right, so the other eye, again, similar shape, and then comes underneath. Back in towards there. <clears throat> Trying to get him about the same size. And then his iris coming down. Half circle. Curving around from the top. And then that white pupil just somewhere in the middle. And then we have wrinkles and eyelid lines around. that right so standard sort of marvel eyes sometimes they draw in temple line for the side of his head so his nose then nose is quite wise so it goes the center bridge of it sort of like that right and then we have a nostril either side of this and you join those together with a curved line like that and then the nostrils on the side of his nose curve around like so and that's kind of all you need to draw maybe just a line just for the bridge of the nose coming down the eyes here as well 
but that's about it. Right, so his mouth <clears throat> gritting his teeth, angry, right? So, say like underneath the pupil here, so we got like this downward turned section. Underneath the pupil of the iris, sort of there, right? And then the top lip just comes across to the middle and then back up the other side. And then the bottom lip sort of comes down that way. Up into the corner. And then to make him look like he's sort of growling, sort of just add some teeth dots sort of in the corner. And that's all you really need to draw for his teeth. <clears throat> so we could have a bit of a top lip section here, just underneath the nose. There's bottom lip. Maybe a shadow just underneath that. Okay, so his chin, real square, big jaw, right? So superhero features, so very sort of square chin. It looks like very chiseled, right? <clears throat> and then this will go, well, first, It'll go like diagonal, quite high up, right? But generally, you're stopping underneath the eyebrow. And so you're stopping like there, across from the top lip. And then this will go up this way. But we, he has like very chiseled features, as I said, so it curves. And then we meet like his cheekbone, right? So it bumps out again. So it bumps like here. And then his cheekbone just lightly goes in that way. Okay. <clears throat> and you could have like just lines around his mouth for his cheeks and stuff. So just up here then, so he's his side of his head is shaved, right? So it goes in a bit. And then out. And so it goes in a bit and out. And his ears come around from there. Like so. And then ear lines inside. So the easiest way is a letter J. And just add a bit more if you want. Yeah, add a different image. Sorry, now. So his hairline. So he's that's sh he's really shaved here along along the side, right? Your your forehead is about the same size as your nose, right? So here to here, and here to the top of his hairline is about the same, right? So this and this are about the same okay and then you'll go across that way right up to the corner there it goes quite high up actually on that side maybe we'll go on this side as well just keep it sort of symmetrical and then this comes down the side like so <clears throat> And then just like shaved side of his head. So he's practically bald on this side, but it starts to get a bit longer than on the other side. The other side is in the top of the head. And like 
this space and this space are about the same. Like the forehead and the hair area is about the same size. And this is like, he's got a fade and stuff all here. There might be like textures on the hair. <clears throat> little dots is all you need to do really because it is quite short okay so that's his face but we'll add some of these veins that are coming out right so basically so like little sort of branches right like this okay the branches that are kind of like connected. Very light. And this kind of thing. <clears throat> and they come all, all around his eye and up his forehead as well. It's very thin. Branching sort of things like this. And then all down his face on this side. So, like a letter or sort of Y is sort of the easiest way to do veins, I always find. A good reference for this is actually um, an anime called Naruto. I don't know if you watch, but there's a character in it whose power comes from the eyes, Hinata. And it's a very good way of learning how to do it. That's how I learned to do veins, really, drawing those eyes. There is some clear images in a manga version of, of that, of veins on someone's face. So it'll, it's a good way, just if you're learning you're looking for clear images right but i think that'll do for hit the veins on his face now his suit right so <clears throat> so he's kind of hunched over so we'll go this way first this is like the back of his neck okay And these curve around and go in underneath his chin. Here. And then come down into the middle. Different sort of plates of armor and stuff all in here. So this one's kind of like open around his neck. Again, down into the chin around the neck here down into his chin again and there is like some neck muscles and all stuff sort of going this way like various pieces of armor and pipes and all this kind of thing and then like some edge lines on this Okay, <clears throat> there's more lines in here, but we'll just get um, sort of his chest armor and shoulders and stuff. So big round shoulder armor. There. It comes in and up to there. Same on the other side. Big round shoulder armor. 
to there. And then his chest. <clears throat> so it's like chest armor basically. Comes down and in. And this comes like underneath his um, lantern crest, right? So the lantern crest kind of like curves around here. So say that circle for the lantern, it's kind of an ellipse, like a skinny circle, because you know it, it's turned down away from us. Okay, so it's in there. But his leg and his sort of body kind of, his thigh muscle kind of goes down that way. And then the sort of his hip here bumping and his thigh on that side goes down there. Then we have his midsection, his crotch sort of area here. His superhero underpants sort of shape and then his leg going down that way here I think we'd see like his calf back here or something so general sort of anatomy shapes so simple way of drawing a body and then we've got his bicep area right so kind of here and then his forearm, like his tricep of forearm, elbow. And we meet like lots of armor plates and stuff here. Right, so coming down this way. <clears throat> and there's hands in here, but we'll, I'll zo have to zoom in on the hands for you. But his bicep area. We'll go on this side here. And it's kind of different on this side. But... Right, like that. And I guess the, you can't really see much of the bicep on this side for some reason. There's like a crossed piece of armor. Kind of like that, but I guess we gotta see some bicep, right? <clears throat> right, so that green lantern symbol inside here, so it's a straight line across, down the top, and it goes in around out down out down and then straight here so it's like squished because his chest is like coming towards us and then we have a circle inside and it's kind of like got green fire and stuff in here but then we have another ellipse. Just follow that outside edge. And it gets real skinny down here. Might even disappear slightly. Just there. So lots of armor plates now. So for example, <coughs> I think well, I think there might be another line on top of this like an edge line to that. And then we have another chest plate here. <clears throat> then another one coming down this way. And these things are kind of, they all have these edge lines to them to make them look a little bit three-dimensional. And then 
this is broken up that way that way because there's like a green section and a sort of a black section <clears throat> so it's black black green on top right and then he's got some circles on top of his armor and then some more sort of armor lines here give it an edge edge lines are just little little lines that follow the shape just to make it look a little bit three-dimensional it's just a little sort of optical illusion kind of thing another sort of there's armor bicep lines curving across there and then these are broken up again To two more sections let me give it an edge you're just following the shape again like that and like you can't see abs but he does have this sort of a v kind of line here there should be abs really so I'll put like an ab line there and then these like keep seem to be broken up into different sections <clears throat> just coming around his waist it's like a vent or something there And then I think he has like green armor along the side here. I think. Like on the side of his legs. Hard to make out though. Just these kind of green stripes, I think. Kind of come onto his knee. And then, like, lines for his sort of leg muscles and stuff. Other oh, arm, then. So we've got like a circle there, and then it has like layers of armor. <clears throat> like another sort of bicep armor section there. <clears throat> and then armor on the forearm. section there and so same over here just kind of turn to the side and then a green armor plate here like so okay fists and he's got kind of green lightning or a corner under. You can do that if you want. But let's say the fist. So we'll do the one without the ring first. So hands generally, we have this sort of W shape at the base of the hand. Okay. <clears throat> and this guy has a thumb. Just coming around here. And then each of these knuckles bumps across and comes up the side 
to a finger, which is a knuckle then again. Down, and then the side of his hand just comes up that way. And each of these would be a finger. And he has black and green sections. So black here, green on top. <clears throat> and they're like leather gloves, so. Like that, right? So his other hand, we just move across here. <clears throat> his thumbs are weird, maybe it's because of the glove. So thumb, can't see the base of the hand here on this side. Knuckles. You can see the base of the hand maybe. Palm of the hand there maybe. With these knuckles come around. Each of them is a finger and a knuckle on top. Now it's basically how you draw a fist. And then we'll just join them together. With finger lines and then attach our thumb to the side of the hand. And then of course he has the lantern ring on this finger, so this would be a bit tricky to draw now because it's so small. But we'll give it our best shot. And he has some of those black fingerless glove, well it's not fingerless, but they're black lines. So we'll try and add the lantern here. Very small. <clears throat> Start off with a circle. All right, and then around this. <clears throat> Help if my markers weren't wasting. some lines just coming from here all right and it might be like will I give him green aura I guess he should be like glowing green a little bit so we'll just go over like around his body with this line <clears throat> you could do it with color of course just to mark out where this energy will be just want him to be glowing a little bit All right there he is the Green Lantern from Suicide Squad. Kill the Justice League, that's what it's called. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.